How's it going everybody? Lance Akira here. And after playing it through the first time, it was short. But then it came to realize that likely there is trophy support on this game, and I decided that let's see if I can get the two trophies that are more considerably hidden, which are all the weapons in the game and all the mask. The other trophy is basically playing through the game and also playing it on the hardest difficulty, which basically is a one hit kill and no checkpoints whatsoever, unless you beat that level, which is pretty hard because that's the one I'm struggling on right now. Anywho, so I kind of went back to the move controller to kind of see in that perspective. And also I made it to where uh, I'm using my hand as the movement. That way I can, um, you know, strife back, forth, left and right, and use my dominant hand. So that's the one thing I kind of like in configuration for using the move controllers when it comes to moving around. Uh, I still use the, uh, kind of the quick turn, because I'm not really used to the smooth. I really like to enjoy my games without getting sick, but that's just me. So, right now, let's get the disc. Let's pop it in. Let's go single player. I could do a new game, knowing the fact that I did beat it. Why is it, uh, huh, that's interesting. I guess you have to beat it on hard to get, um, Apocalypse, but it should have. Anyway, I'm not going to question. I'm going to start normal again and see what happens. So it seems to me that likely when I was doing it two-handed, it didn't count. So... Let's see what two hand. If I mean, yeah, two handed, not not these two hands, the, the the aim controller. So knowing the fact that I'm using move controllers, let's see if that counts. And if it does, then I think they need to look into something. This, adjusting the volume. I'm still learning. I'm still learning this new headset. Lieutenant Parker here. The outbreak is now beyond our control. Our orders are clear. We're going to launch the nuke. But the missile base was overrun and locked down, so it's your job to get inside via the service entrance and confirm the launch manually. Do you copy? Over. Roger that. Just get in, fire a rocket, and enjoy the fireworks. <sighs> Easy enough. That's the spirit. I'm in the truck on the other side, and we'll give you a safe ride home once everything's done. Good luck. Over and out. Okay. So likely our mission is to find the mask and to find every single weapon. But for some odd reason, when I was doing the um, two-handed, which is the aim controller, it's like it just didn't count. Technically, I should have gotten apocalypse mode, but it just never gave it to me. So this one might take a little longer than my first playthrough due to the fact that I'm literally looking behind every milk and cranny in this game to find at least a mask of some sort. Good thing you could run in this game. Because it would be very, very... Oh, oh yeah. Somebody in here. Let's see. Dang, this little guy... I could run in like John Wick, but not right now. Hmm, really nice gun. Anybody home? Hmm. Ducky! Oh, I feel better when I do that. Anything else? Nope. Yep. No nope. No response. Uh, let's 
Let's check it out. Uh, okay, nothing. There has to be something in this car. <coughs> Wish I had a flashlight already. Wait. Okay, nothing. Okay, so you could still do the auto click for move controller. I like that. Instead of ha actually having to, like, literally press and hold, it, it, it tends to get annoying. Nothing. Wish I had a flashlight. Anybody in here? Nope. Yeah, I can holster. There we go. I didn't want to holster that. I mean, seriously, there has to be something. At least holstering is a, lot, a little easier. I, I kind of noticed that. Like, compared to the uh, holstering in... Uh, oh, okay. I can't holster because likely there's something in my way. The only sparing food that you cannot holster. Wow, my mouth is literally that far. <coughs> okay. Nothing. Whatever that was. Tennis ball. All I'm asking for is a mask. Just in case. Yuck. When things start flying right at you. Alright, let's open the door. Oh wow, I didn't see you. Any mask in there? It's like so dark. Of course you can't see like if there's a mask, but you would see a silhouette of some sort. To know that there was something in here. No, nothing. <sighs> oh! At least there was ammunition in here. There's another dead body there. But no mask. Alright. So... Does that tell me that there's nothing in this area when you first start the game? I can't reach there. Can't reach there either. Alright. So let's start the, uh, the battle. Because that's what we have to do next, unless I didn't check over here. Which now I can say I did.
Look at the abyss. Service elevator. Sounds like my way in. What's that? Okay, that's nothing I can pick up. <coughs> Alright, I got 94 pistols. Or, or ammo for pistol. That's when it comes up. Let me close the door. I mean, seriously. There you go. Alright, cool. Alright, let's do this. That ain't good. Ah, crap, I forgot how to... I forgot how to... I forgot how to... Equip, equip... Oh my gosh, that's the one thing about the move controller I forgot. Compared to the aim controller, it's easy to reload. Because it automatically reloads, you're not taking out the actual weapon, holstering it back in. I literally forgot how to do it with the move controllers. It's been a while since I played this game with move controllers. Uh, Alright, let's fix that. Before I even do anything, I'm going to learn how to reload. I know how to, you know, uh, reload it back, you know, eject the cartridge, reload it back in on my chest, yada yada, all that stuff. Alright, so let's, before I do it... So it's circle. Okay. And then I already reloaded it. Okay. This little error. That ain't good. Sad that I have to use the aimer to actually accurately instead of just blindly. Because usually I can, should just be able to do it without getting that green little dot to show. Oh dang, you gotta. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oof! That was close. <coughs> Too close. So, I'm literally having to hold the flashlight while doing this. And this is a really big flashlight. My gosh. So the question is right now, is there a mask here? Okay. That would be a no. Another flashlight. I don't really think you could fall off. I think they did it, but it doesn't like push you off. All right. Now, can I holster this? my life so I can wipe my hometown off the face of the earth.
Okay, let's see if there's a mask in here. All I'm looking for is a mask. Uh. Thank you. to be a mass somewhere. Except another rubber ducky, but... Not even a mask. How many masks did they actually put on this game anyway? Ooh, fridge. Good, more meat. Alright, I'm at a hundred. Alright, let's see if there's a mask anywhere else. I mean, there has to be. There's the pantry. You guys don't even open at the bottom. Frying pan. Too bad that doesn't work. Now, if that consider it as a weapon, then are they trying something? Uh, I'm not gonna bother. Because usually that was the problem. They never use the melee weapons as a weapon. Compared to, like, Killing Floor. Killing Floor used theirs. Come on, masks. Give me a mask. These suitcases don't open. Now this is a hat. Does that count? That is a negatory because then there would have been an icon for me to pick up. Before I jump down there, I want to see if I can check out this little spot here and see if there's anything around, which there isn't. Nothing to open or pick up, so time to drop in. Alright, there should be a there should be one here. I recall a mask somewhere in this area. This is like the lab or something like that. Alright. And what was it? I was also supposed to find all the weapons, which I haven't seen a weapon yet. Alright, let me drop down. There we go. Alright, did I even drop down? Yeah. Wow. Fucker here. 
You'll need to restore more power and reboot the system before heading on. I'm sure you can find a solution. Yeah, yeah. Again, it gets darker here. My gosh. You feel so vulnerable when you only have a pistol in your hand and a flashlight on the other and you can't even smack anybody with it. I don't even think I can go down there. No. I can't. Okay, I'm getting other weapons that's showing up. Not going downstairs yet. Alright, the crack silhouette kind of feels off. Like, I should be shining light inside, but there's something either blocking it. Alright. See, when you actually take the time to look around and see all the little details, you kind of find some stuff. I'm still looking for a mask or a gun or something. Thing. Hold up. All right. Sorry about that. Just had to check something real quick. So the key's still there. This looks useful. I knew something was up. Alright, so there's really absolutely not even a new weapon around here. I think that's only for downstairs then. I think that's only for like the next area. I mean, there's really not that much uh, keys or anything. <coughs> so, what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to close this door. I'm going to close all the doors so that way there's only one vacancy to go to and that's Close all doors. Because who needs the doors? Alright. So now we're going to go downstairs and investigate and see if we can find a mask. Has to be one mask. I know for a fact I saw one mask on my first playthrough, and now I can't seem to find it. It's probably on the other side.
Wait, that didn't make sense. What did I just get a trophy for? Hold on, I'm gonna check what trophy I just got because for that to just automatically pop up on its own tells me that there's a little bit of an error in their coding. Hold on. <coughs> okay, sorry, I finished it, man. Okay, I probably could have gotten that one. No, no, no. Eat tempers, da da da. F play a game. For okay, no. Okay, so the trophy. Hold on. Alright, so the trophy that just popped up was the 10 miles so it seems that if you play the DLC it'll still affect everything that you do in the main game there's our first mask wait Where did, do I have it on why is it so dark it gets darker every time Either I collected it, and I'm wearing it now, and I wish I can tell, but... Oh, I am wearing it. Wait, is this...? Yeah, this is it. Alright, so I am wearing it right now. So that's one of the masks. Seems like I'll need to get in here. There's our first gun. Let's check around. <coughs> All right. Doing okay. All right, let's let's turn this. Okay, am I... Alright, so it's better if you just do a one-click, boom. It does the rotating for you. Do I do it again? Why not working? System is up and running again. Good job. Now get to the panel and hail the cart. Radio, your ray of light. <coughs> so I'm kind of caged in right now. I closed every door so they shouldn't come out. Alright. So they're coming in. Let's do this. So it's a good thing I closed the doors. Because nobody's coming. Oh shit. Oh crap. Let's 
sneaking up behind me like that. You don't do that. got one gun. And I was only in that one area. So now the question is, where is the other gun? see if maybe there was a gun around on the other side but there's not it's a doorway but I don't know if I can get there all right so we got to get on the other side Again, I gotta get this, this darn crosshair to show. Uh, just to say I'm actually shooting. I feel like I'm force aiming, and force aiming just doesn't feel right. I should be naturally aiming it in my own way, so that kind of shows how well the aim system on this game's a little bit off. Like, majorly. Alright. Because, like, with, uh, Shooty, Shooty Fruity, Shooty Fruity has a really good accuracy on that game. Like, I can shoot freely without having an aim system on this game. I would think they would have fixed that by actually, uh, I, I don't know, raising, lowering the aim system when shooting. Holstering it, it feels natural, but it's off for some strange reason. It's just off. really seen so many patties before. I don't know when did it start to show up compared to my first playthrough. Looks like someone aborted the launch just in time. Alright, so let's go... Yeah, look at that. I can even see the sprite on that. That's how detailed it is. Sheesh. All right, the next weapon's supposed to come up soon. That's in there. 
to see what kind of weapon it is for the two-handed people, or for the move controllers. in this room because I feel like I didn't check anyway so a p90 is still here so that's good oh my second flashlight no need for that I got a p90 okay physics does not work how are these two floating really you guys didn't look into this, did you? Yeah, somebody needs to work on their physics, on their cans. Shouldn't be floating like that. weapon. Alright, let's keep going. And just in case. Alright. I, I always shoot the ones that are laying down because I know they're just gonna pop up. So it's like, you know, just take them out of their misery. Stop on the job. Look at these guys. They're working. Ah, come on. You guys are wasting my bullets. I'm gonna be going back to pistol right now. How many are you guys? Sheesh. Any more? Like, seriously? Come on, let's finish it. So, here's another gun that we know of. Did I, did I shoot you? Okay, yeah, you're shot. Alright, so if I holster you, I take you. If I holster you, I take you. So, we're going to leave the pistol behind and keep the shotgun. Or, we can lose the flashlight, but then I'm dual wielding. Is that possible? Alright. Let's get rid of the flashlight, because, I mean, we got plenty of light, right? So we got a shotgun, and I can switch to a P90 if I want to. There you go, boom, P90 and shotgun. That's not bad. Alright, there has to be something.
right, so I got the key. Now I know there's a mask <coughs> when we're running out of the place. So the question is, remove the mask that I have on my face and then get the mask or something. Anyway, let's keep going. So I have no flashlight, so I can't really see the darker areas. But, I mean, these are, like, literally the weapons that are given to me. So what more are there? Launch confirmed. Looks like that's my call to leave. I'm, I'm doing my best! Not, I don't know. So I will take off the mask that I have, wear that one, see if that counts. Because I can't really recall if it will or not, but it's better to try it on the first shot. Looks like that's my call to leave. Toxin, this place is heating up. I don't know. I don't know how long I can stay here. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Upside. the other mask and then I got this mask so there has to be like maybe a third mask I guess we'll find out where's the truck where's the freaking truck <coughs> lieutenant 
Lieutenant Parker? Oh, shit. So much for a safe ride. That was like the close range. Anything good, like a weapon or something. <coughs> Gotta keep moving. Come on. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, sometimes, Seth. Sometimes. He's dead. Can I open this? Well, looks like I can. Weapons, mask, anything. Show yourself. No, nothing in here. Ah, poo. There has to be something that I need. You're dead. Oh! New gun. Um. Ah! Okay, so... This tells me something. If you're using the aim controller to get the trophies, it will not work. You literally have to use the move controllers for this, which is kind of disappointing, because how else are they supposed to get it? Because I know for a fact that, um, oops. I know for a fact that when I played through that, that's where all the weapons were for the two-handed, uh, which is the aim controller. I didn't get that on the first playthrough, which I should have. So now, let's see if we can find all the masks. Because that's the last thing we have to find. Which, that's probably on the next map. Hopefully. Alright, so let's see. Let's put you... Alright, let's get back my other weapon. Alright, there we go. And then I'll put you away. I'll keep you, actually. Alright, so in my defense, I'm finding a lot of faults in the developer side. The fact that when I shot a can on the bottom, the two were floating on top, which means their physics wasn't really being physical. Uh, you know, they didn't have the physics right. Also, you can see the silhouette, but that could be just the sharpness of the pro, you know, can show off a lot of stuff. And then also, when it comes to trophy hunting, the aim controller people will not get the trophy because not all the weapons show up. <coughs> so the question is, Damn. am I going to find all? Oh, oh man. Oh, cool. Yeah, I still got to finish some levels. I haven't been on there for months on end. And people are still harding me on Little Big Planet. I'm already at like I think 19k of uh hearts. It's not like I even asked for it either. Your aim system on here is annoying. 
Like, you literally have to scope down on it. There has to be something. An insignia of a... Oh, wait, is that a mask? Yes. And there's all the mask. It's a gas mask you can get on here, okay. So it's a good thing I searched. So we just achieved everything. So the only thing I have left is to beat this on Apocalypse. And the only way I'm going to unlock that is if I use the move controllers, because for some odd reason, the aim controller didn't unlock Apocalypse mode. So once Apocalypse mode is, is unlocked... That, is that the refinery? Yeah. This is Corporal Chan Doxon <laughs> of the 5th Special Forces Group. <laughs> uh, is anyone there? Roger, Corporal. This is Captain Lopez speaking. W um, wasn't Parker going to pick you up? What's your status? Over. <sighs> I'm barely... I'm barely holding it together. <laughs> the missile... The missile kicked the shit out of me. And Parker, he, uh... He didn't make it. <laughs> Over. <laughs> so, yeah, there's... <sighs> Okay, no other Dawson. weapons in here. You need to haul your ass to the entrance ASAP. We're about to have a lot more company. Copy that. Over and out. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna zoom on by because be there there's Lucy. nothing else. Hey, how you doing? Little angel. Just open the freaking door! I was there, I was there. Oh. Damn it, it's too low on my foot. Get inside! <laughs> oh god! What's happening to me? Someone open the door for him! No! Uh, the door is... Stop! I'm already in. Why? What? Uh, you know what to do. Oh. You, you know oh, what to do. Fuck! Oh, oh, so just do it! I'm sorry. Did he even shoot me in the head? Alright, so we just got the two trophies that was practically all weapons, and we learned that if you are using the aim controller, you will not get the trophy. You either have to use the move controller, I think to, yeah, I think you could use this for dual shock. I really do not recall, I don't know. But if you do, leave it in the comments about that because I haven't really used the dual shock. Just use move controllers and aim controllers. So yeah. Now, let me see one more thing. Dead man, please. No, that's horde mode. No, thank you. All right, so dead man. <coughs> Single player, and if I do it, okay. Apocalypse mode. Oh. So was it the fact that apocalypse mode was already there, and I just had to move right? I don't know. I thought it wasn't there. I'll have to look it back at my recording. But overall, yeah. How should I say this? Wait, what, what did I just take off? Oh, so, yeah, this was the gas mask in the Dead Man DLC. I think it says Dead Man. Well, either way. Alright, so I'm going to end it here. And eventually, hopefully, beat Apocalypse Mode, which I don't think there's any checkpoints. And if you die, you go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, unless they do it in segments. Maybe that's the only fairness. So, we'll see what happens. Take care.